Welcome to BeerAndIron.com. Today, we're going to be heading out on a solo camping trip on a bicycle. We're starting later in the evening hours. We're going to be leaving from Council, Idaho on the Weezer River Trailhead and heading north. We're going to be pulling a camp cast iron Dutch oven on a bicycle. It may only be an 8 inch cast iron Dutch oven, but it has some weight, I'll tell you what. We're going to be pulling that camp cast iron Dutch oven in the back on a trailer. I have all I need for the night, including our recipe ingredients and beers to enjoy while we cook. We'll be cooking our pork and spuds recipe for one, for myself. If you'd like the full recipe for pork and spuds, there's a link in the description below in a video. I hope you enjoy. We traveled 17 miles to get here. We'll do twice that much tomorrow, but with less weight on the back of this bicycle. I got a trailer right here, and I hauled me a Dutch oven on the back of that trailer. Tell you what, that was no joke. But when you're hungry, at the end of the trail, that's what it's all about. I'm gonna set camp up real quick and get my fire started because I am hungry. And look at here. In that Dutch oven, it's got my salt and pepper. It's got my potatoes, got some breadcrumbs. We're gonna make ourselves a little pork roast, but we're gonna add a little potatoes and some other breadcrumbs in there. We're gonna make this thing special. I'll tell you what, it's been a long day. It's about 10 o'clock at night, and I'm in a campsite, and I don't wanna be too noisy. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna get our fire started. I've got an eight inch Dutch oven. And so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fry. And what I wanna do is put 16 briquettes in the bottom of this thing, but I don't wanna bang them around. I don't get my hands dirty either. So I'm gonna use my leather gloves to dispense my briquettes. I better zip up my tent and get my cup because I need a beer. Of course, the big question is, is are those beers gonna be so shook up that they ain't worth drinking? Well, I don't know of any beer that ain't worth drinking. Let's see what we got here. My cold pack stayed nice and cold. Ooh, those beers are cold. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to put that one there. Old Rasputin. Got my bell peppers. Got my rosemary. Got my pork chop on some ice. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just going to throw that pork chop right there in the dirt and my butter. Keep that beer that's in there cold because I might have two. I'm not driving. All right, 16 briquettes. We might do a few extra just in case. Now, can you believe I brought briquettes with me on a bicycle ride? 11, 12, 13... 15, 16, and uh, we'll call it good right there. Well, one to grow on. Why not? Two to grow on. Let's do two. I got extra. Gonna light this dude up. I bring my own fire pit, little garbage can lid. You ain't got a charcoal chimney. I wasn't willing to haul that. So we're gonna pour ourselves a little beer and get down to doing some cooking. I gotta cut up some potatoes. Oh my gracious, they got shook up on that bicycle. Show enough. Old Rasputin and drinking it in titanium. That's right. I'm wanting to sit down in my chair 
and I need to cut up some potatoes. So we're getting our coals ready, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take a pork rib. Actually, it's like a gigantic pork chop, and I'm going to fry that dude in some butter, about a tablespoon of butter in my eight inch cast iron Dutch oven. We're gonna get that cast iron Dutch oven heated up real hot. That's gonna be step number one. We're gonna spread these coals out because they're getting about to be the point where they're ready to take that Dutch oven. And it won't take long for that Dutch oven to get hot. Get a little light on the subject. So I don't know if you can see that right there, but they ready. My little eight inch, just the cutest little dude in the world. We're just gonna stick it in that fire, just like that. Got my lid, and we're gonna stick that on there, just like that. Perfect. Now, what we have is a pork chop. I'm gonna show it to you. Nice, big, heavy duty pork chop. Let me get a light so we can don't overwhelm it. You see how thick that dude is? Nice and thick. And we're gonna melt a tablespoon of butter in that Dutch oven, and we're gonna skillet this pork chop up. I hauled that pork chop almost 20 miles so I can enjoy it tonight after my bicycle ride. On that bicycle right there with that trailer. Oh my gracious, tell you what. The trailer was no joke with all this charcoal in that Dutch oven. Dutch oven's not too bad, but carrying around that, uh, that charcoal, three beers, because I'm gonna cook with one, and uh, of course all the other stuff. All right, let's check on our on our butter. Ooh, it's starting to sizzle. Starting to do good. Now I need to get my glove because I didn't bring no lid lifter. You don't want to grab hold of a hot cast iron Dutch oven. We're going to turn that dude. Yeah, it's doing real good. Let's look down in there and see what's going on. So you see that butter in there getting hot, looking good. In a minute, we're going to put that pork chop down in there. Now I think we're getting about ready. Ow. Put that pork chop in there. That's the sound I like to hear. Can you hear it? And I got some salt and pepper. I'm going to season that dude just a little bit. I've got a little rosemary too. Fresh. Imagine that. What do you think of that? Oh my gracious, that smells good. I didn't brine this pork roast or pork rib or gigantic pork chop before I came out, and that's okay. We're gonna get this thing good and seared, and then we're gonna to go to step number two, which is pull it out and get a, a little batter started with some breadcrumbs and some beer, and we're gonna coat that roast up in that, and then we're gonna add some potatoes, a few more breadcrumbs, and we're gonna to top it with a little salt and pepper. We're gonna bake it for about an hour until this dude reaches temperature. I think we got a pretty good color on it. I think we're going to go ahead and add our breadcrumbs and beer, make ourselves a little batter to roll that in. We're going to remove that little stem of rosemary. There'll be some rosemary left over, definitely that flavor. We're going to bring our lid nearby, put it on. You can just leave whatever little bit of rosemary in there that you want. Now we're going to get our breadcrumbs. Not too much, about a half a cup. And this little dutch should do the trick. There you go. Now there's butter in there. It's going to help with that batter flavor. That's okay. We're going to open up this little Mexican lager. We're going to add a little bit of Mexican lager to that. There you go. Stir that about. Make a little batter. There you go. Maybe a little bit more beer. You don't want this to burn. I'm going to reduce the heat here from frying the bacon in just a little bit. I know this is not the optimal recipe, but this recipe is one in the works. Let me just put it to you that way. Seasoned breadcrumbs. A little rosemary that we cooked in there. Beautiful. We're going to put that pork chop back in there. We're just going to grab hold of it. It's hot. Woo, my gracious. Woo. We're just going to roll it around just a little bit. Just flip it over in there. Let it kind of get coated in them breadcrumbs. Just like that. So we are still cooking in the dark, but I think we got our food under wraps. Here's some light on the subject. Our little 8-inch cast iron Dutch oven. 
Let me give you a gander real quick. Pick it up with this one. Oh my gracious, look at that. With the light in one hand. Oh my gracious, I think I'm ready to take it over to the table and eat that. We're going to go ahead and have ourselves a bite of dinner. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's a neat thing cooking with Dutch ovens. It really is. The, uh, the thing is, is even though I hauled it out here on my bicycle, uh, it's so worth it. It's just something about doing this. You could take out here with a little jet boil type of arrangement, a little propane tank, probably some dehydrated food. But where's the fun in that? I mean, this is fun. Tell me I'm lying. It's just, it's just fun. So I'm going to sit out here in the dark under the stars, and I'm going to have myself a little bite of food, a little bite of pork chop, potatoes, a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs to season, and we're going to enjoy the stars and uh, just, you know, spend some time doing our thing. Turn off this light and see if you can get a little darkness. Ooh. Hey, if you're afraid of the dark, just uh, close your eyes.